Do you watch Ted Lasso? Love Ted Lasso. <laughs> I was gonna get a part in it. There was like a little cameo. You did I should have done it, man. You should have done it, man. Yeah, I, I, can, can I just slap you upside the head since you didn't do oh, it? No, no. <laughs> um, it's it is one of my favorite yeah. shows. So we're here at the UCLA Health Training Center. This place looks incredible. Tell me about it. Well, this is the home of the Lakers where they come and they train. The coolest thing is when you come in to this suite and you look straight across. Yeah. You see the trophies? Yes. That's so amazing. Yes. Right? You see this, the trophies that we've accumulated over the years. When you come here and you pray, and you practice yeah. and train, and you see all the greats that came before you, it makes yeah. you want to go harder so you can have your number yeah. on the wall. Who is the greatest players you played with? Ooh. Club legend Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, David Beckham, who, who actually he played out here in, in LA for the Galaxy. Who's, who's David Beckham? <laughs> I'm just kidding. One thing they had in common was how hard they worked. Yes. When you play with great players, what make them as great is they, they're humble. Yeah. You know, they're very humble and they're willing to accept, you know, criticism. I was watching Kobe Bryant when we was in the other seat. I just watched him shoot threes, right? So I go up to him, I say, you know, try this. Don't yeah. jump so high when you shoot your three because you're expending a lot of energy to get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and then he was like, okay. And the weird part about that, I forgot about it. Yeah. And then we did an interview, a little sit down. And he told me that story. I was like, oh, I forgot about that, man. But you know, that's, that shows you how humble guys are. They, they are willing to listen to guys because, you know, we can see some things from the outside that we can't see from the inside. Each arena has a different type of flooring. It's little things like that yeah. that people don't think about that's on the outside, but athletes like the Boston Garden was the worst place because it really? had so many dead spots in the floor. You see guys used to walk around the floor dribbling, trying yeah. to find a dead spot. So during the game, you either avoid it or know that it's there. Sounds like a big advantage for if you've got a court that's a bit like with dead spots and you know where the dead spots are. That's, that's can... why the Celtics were yeah, successful, because yeah, they cheated. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, kids, all right? The Celtics are cheaters, man. It's all about the Lakers. <laughs> we see some of the names Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, what were them guys like on the court on training day? Those guys are so great. Shaq, one of the most lovable guys. Yeah. And when you talk about guys that can flip a switch, yeah. you know, have fun, and then go straight into business. Yeah. He was one of those guys, and I think he had a love for his teammates like no other, because he knew if you knock down shots, that means yeah. he's not gonna get double teamed, and he yeah. gonna what we call eat all day, you know? Yeah. And that's what he said, you know, like his favorite line, barbecue chicken. And so, <laughs> and, with, and with Cole, we used to, we used to, this is the thing, we always used to mess with Cole yeah. and tell him he couldn't do something. And he was like, what? He would be here the next day at 5 a.m. Really? Trying to do that, man. He was amazing. Chelsea fan, yeah? Yeah, man. Do you like? Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. Every time, every time I come to the States, it, it, it's growing. Like more and more people. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Anyway. Good you, nice to see you, nice mate. Nice. Good luck. I'm, you, I'm a Laker now. I'm, I'm <laughs> following you. I'm, I'm, do I'm, I'm done. You've got me. The crazy thing about us and football is such two global games. Yeah, yeah. And I think for us, it had a lot to do with the dream team. Yes. You know, them going and playing. And with you guys, you have always been global. We're trying yeah. to catch up with you. Yeah. You know, think about it. I think it's not a kid growing up that didn't play soccer. Football and basketball is the people's game, right? For football, you need a ball. Basketball, you just need a ball and a hoop, you know? So I think it's, it's accessible for everyone. I think that's why they're the, the two global games. Yeah, the two sports that's kind of, you know, the cheapest. Yes. No, <laughs> you know no, what no, I mean? No, 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 no. Yeah, because football, you, in American football, you need pass. Yeah. Tennis, you need a racket. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so it's so many things you need to play yeah. other sports. All, yeah. us, all we need is a ball. I love the energy, man. Yeah. The energy you guys have at your arenas yeah. is bananas. I know. The chance, the love, oh man. Thank you so much for, for showing me around. I really enjoyed this. Really impressive. My pleasure, man. Cheers.